What's going on guys, this is your boy Project Ice Man bringing you another episode of Pokemon Apex. In the last episode, uh, Heather ended up, uh, well she sent us messages saying to go to the abandoned factory. Um, I'm guessing she might have been kidnapped or something. We're about to find out. Um, so let's go back this way. Or while running to a wild Pokemon, you know. You know, there's a bunch of them in here. I think I already read this one. Yep. Yeah, I already read this. Um, let's go this way first. There could be a cat in this box, but then again, there could also not. <laughs> sure, there goes cat. Ooh, a potion. This box has the word beware written on, in red marker on the side. Some sort of ghost? with this one. This computer appears to be off, but on closer inspection, there seems to be a command line awaiting input. There are some files here. Which one will you open? <laughs> Solitaire.exe 2004, 2.10. Something's happened. There's been an accident. I only heard rumors, but it sounds like one of the lab coats was involved in an accident with some of the top secret equipment. Nobody will tell me exactly what's going on, but I have learned one thing for sure. We're being shut down effective immediately. I'm not sure how safe it is to be here, so I'm just gonna grab what I need and get out. I'm not gonna get my ass involved in some sort of contam a containment and a file. I'll copy this to my phone. Tommy.eml Email message to thwart thwartwick at revtex.com from Jake Cioto at revtex.com Subject, Tommy. Body. Fuck you, Tommy, you bitter asswipe. I hope you go get run over by a fucking bus. You are a sad, pathetic, jealous excuse for a man. You are graciously invited to kiss my ass. Love and kisses, Jim Cho. I copied this to my phone. <laughs> Solitaire.exe Solitaire.exe has encountered an unexpected exception. At... Xenosoft.games.solitaire.game.xpp1330 at Xenosoftgame.games.solitaire.game.setup.game12 Caused by XPP exception dot resource not found exception. Could not find resource. Solitaire.goidl. Okay. Well, that wasn't right.
Access restricted. Hazardous materials. Uh, uh, what did I just see? Another rusty gate. There's probably another override switch around here somewhere. Some kind of machine that controls these big machines. There are big wires connected to them. I haven't the slightest idea what this is. Some sort of steam valve thing? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is a generator. It's definitely turned off. Ether. As much as I want to read these papers, it's too dark in here. It's so dark down here, I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Hold on, Heather. I'll find you. to leave? I want to leave. I... Are you a ghost? Oh, uh, I want to leave! You have levitate, don't you? Damn it. I am free. Thank you, friend. Please accept this memory. <sighs> don't. Don't hurt me. It seems you misunderstand your position here. Look. <coughs> I'll give you any anything you want. <laughs> How pathetic. You see, that's the problem. We don't need anything from you except your life. You dug too deep, Cho, and now you must pay the price. <laughs> I knew something fucked up was going on here. <coughs> He's breathed in too much of my wheezing's neurotoxin. That he'll be dead in minutes. I just wish I could have told someone. And thankfully, you never will. Now, shall we depart? <laughs> How does it feel having deadly poison tear its way through this central nervous system? Does it burn? Does it feel like your insides are melting? I can see the blood leaving, leaking out of your eyes. <laughs> How I long for that feeling, the sweet surrender of death. Are you quite finished? You know how little art the boss enjoys waiting. <coughs> yes, I'm coming. 
damn cocky brat. I'll get you two someday. The ghost left behind something behind. Odd keystone. Member. Left with eggs, not ac always use upper equip. I get I, I get proper equipment, but I don't get anything past that. Oh, grammars. That's a big button with the case of override. Yep. That did a lot. Darn it, come on, stop. we have here you the one from the other day fucking right and I'm pretty well pissed off pissed that you gave me the slip too still though to think that they'd be the one to save you what a trip look I don't know or care who any of you wackos are just stay away from Heather <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that amigo you see I got orders to bring this one in couldn't tell you why but the boss has an eye on this kid Unfortunately for you, I also have orders to exercise a little restraint when it comes to pesky brats. However, that doesn't mean I can't rough you up a bit either. Prepare for a word of hurt. Scratch, huh? Get out of here. The hell? This kid is tough. <laughs> you got fighting spirit, kid. I'll give you that. However, you're still leagues away from making a scratch on any of us. Dream on, Junior. Now then, your friend and I have some unfinished business to catch up on, so I'll have to kick your ass for a good later. No, get back here, you asshole! I'm sorry, I have a name, you know, and it's not asshole. The name's Dante. Hasta luego. Damn it, no! Can't stop now. Gotta find Dante. Things. Hmm. Hmm. 
Dante! Oh, you remembered my name. I'm flattered. Get away from Heather! You don't really get it, do you? You seem to be under the assumption that you can stop me. Still, I'm more amazed that you were able to follow me here. Who are you, anyway? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I'm fucking tired of this. Time to get you off my ass. Oh! Brayford? Uh, yeah. I was not meant to win that battle. Gah! He's too strong. Do you see now, you ass swipe? You ain't nothing. Blaziken, finish the job! Damn it! Not again! I'm gonna black out! Chapter 1, Nadir. I can't move my body. It feels like I'm falling. Hey you! Wake up! Mm. Huh? I said wake up, you big monster! A forest? Where am I? Hey! You're awake! Okay. That's close enough. Now where... <laughs> now what are you doing in my forest, you big ugly monster? Ugly? Kid, I'm not a monster. I'm a person just like you. That sounds like something a monster would say. Okay, I'm a monster. You caught me. But before you capture me and take me away, could you at least tell me where I am? Uh, you don't know where you are? <laughs> then that must mean... That must mean you're lost. Come on, little monster. Dahlia, age six, will lead you to safety. So wait, am I a little or a big monster? Oh well, looks like this Dahlia is my ticket out of here. I just remembered it. I just remembered it. <laughs> There's wild Pokemon around, so be careful. Stay out of the bushes if you don't want to get attacked. There are Pokemon here? Uh, yeah, they're kind of everywhere. Haven't you battled a Pokemon before? So wait, where exactly is this? Ugh, there's no time. Let's go already, you big slowpoke. Well, there goes nothing. Yes, save the game. Sagaxis Forest. Come on, come on, this way. This grass is kind of thick this way, so you can go around if you're afraid of Pokemon. Hey, did you know? There's lots of good stuff in this forest. I find all cars, kinds of cool presents here every day. I'll have to keep an eye out then. But, but, some of them you can't see, because they're hidden. Here, I found this while I was waiting for you. You can have it. Aw, thank you, Dahlia. H hey, I'm only giving it to you because I know you wouldn't last a minute out here without me. Don't get the wrong idea, monster. Anyway, let's get it. It's this way. Yay! There she is. Is 
Is your Pokemon hurt? Let me make it feel a lot better. Okay, now we just gotta make it through this ca the cave and we're home safe. Ooh, Nincada. Whew. How much further do we have to go? We're almost there, big brother. Big brother? So am I not a monster anymore? No, I said big monster. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> A note is taped onto this rock. If you're looking for an item, I got it first. <laughs> Dahlia, age six. <laughs> mommy, mommy, I found a monster in the woods. See, look, mommy, there's the big monster. Looks like you made a new friend today, sweetie. My name's Shen. I'm a bit lost and Dolly really helped me out. Shen, huh? Well, it's my pleasure to meet it's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Holly. I see you already met my daughter, Dahlia. I hope she wasn't too much trouble. Oh, she was a total nightmare. Always showing me to go always showing me where to go and helping me out. <laughs> no uh. No listen, mommy. I was a good girl. <laughs> I'm sure you were there. We're just messing with you. See if I ever help you again, monster. <laughs> so you managed to get lost in the woods? Are you from around here? No ma'am, I'm actually, uh, from a ways away. Oh, no need for ma'am. I'm not that old, am I? Just Holly is fine. Now, I might not know you that well, but even I could tell that you're from fur further away than just a few towns over. Well, I'm actually from Naskeen City. I admit I'm a bit confused as to where I am, I am in relation to it. Sounds like you got a story to tell. Why don't I pour you a cup of tea and you can tell me all about it. It'll make your Pokemon feel all better too. I decided to tell Holly about all about my predicament. I'm not sure why I decided to trust her. Perhaps it reminded me of what having a mother was like. I don't normally drink tea either, but I found myself enjoying the drink that Holly poured for me. It had an earth earthy yet spicy taste that warmed me up. Well that certainly sounds like an adorable deal. I can't say I know all about your predicament, but I'll try to fill you in with what I know. What would you like to know, honey? Okay, this world. Well, I don't exactly know where it is you're from, but this world is called Gehenna. Where you are now is the ancient Sivgaxis Force. Our family has lived here in this cabin for generations, so I don't know too much about what goes on outside. I can say that this force is located on a continent now Abaddon. There are many towns and cities around this continent, where people have lived for centuries. I have never heard of this Naskeen city, but I'm sure that if you head to one of the continent cities, you'll be able to find something else. Okay, Pokemon. I suppose you wouldn't be familiar with Pokemon being so far away. Pokemon are creatures who have inhabited this world for centuries. They are our friends and companions, but many enjoy engaging in battles. Doesn't make them fighting se doesn't make them fighting seem a little cruel? Where I'm fine rhyme front that would be considered inhumane. I suppose that's one way to think about it. However, from what I've seen, Pokemon tend to enjoy the activity. Their growth is directly tied to how well they do in battle, so really, it's in their blood. Also, many people, myself included, believe that Pokemon and their trainers grow closer through battle. There are some that use their Pokemon for evil, while wild Pokemon may attack a human. It's taboo for a pig trainer's Pokemon to do so. Though, I've heard that there are criminals out there who don't care about the taboo and use those Pokemon to commit crimes. That being said, it's probably a good idea to keep some Pokemon with you at all times. And if your partners are ever tired and need to rest, you're always welcome to put your feet up at this house, our house there. Thanks, Holly. 
What would you like to know? My next move. Well, a little ways outside the forest is an adorable little place called Ascadi Acacia Town, on the banks of the lake. It's the closest slice of civilization, so you're best, you'd best be you're, you'd be best starting your search for answers there. There's a man who lives there named Elder Matthias. He's a sweet older gentleman who runs a temple. Tell him your story, and he may be able to help. Okay. All right, dear. When you're ready to leave the forest, just take the trail to the north. Make sure you say the goodbye to Dahlia before you go. There's a note written here in crayon. Dear big monster, <laughs> I'm in my secret place in the woods. I bet you can't find me. Dahlia, age six. I'll copy this to my phone. Hmm, I wonder where that could be. I bet I can find it. It's a children's chapter book about a flower princess who defeats an evil queen. Looks like Dahlia's quite advanced at reading, although her spelling could use some work. Secrets of Success Forest. A junior trainer guide. Give this book a read? Sure. Trainers, did you know that Success Forest has many secrets? It's true. It's well known that this, the forest is home to many caves, but some of these caves have yet to be discovered. Try looking in hidden areas and checking rock walls that look suspicious. You never know what you might find. But remember, trainers, play it safe. Never go into Strange Cave without your po parents' permission and the company of your Pokemon. That's Dahlia's diary. Read it? What could possibly go wrong? It's all just crayon scribbles. I'm not really sure what I expected to find in a six-year-old diary. Looks like another one of the Flower Princess books. In this installment, the princess defeats an ogre who threatens her forest. This book is an illustrated glossary of flowers. I never met someone who likes flowers as much as Dahlia. It's one of Dahlia's drawings. There's a little stick figure made like Dahlia, age 6, standing beside a large stick figure marked Mommy, age 100. I highly doubt Holly is anywhere near 100 years old. Oh look, it looks like Dahlia drew something, some crude Pokemon around their feet. I don't know enough Pokemon to have any idea what any of these scribbles are. A detailed painting of a pink flower. There's a play side underneath. Dahlia's room. Someone has scribbled on the play side with her. No mummies allowed. The identity of the perpetrator may never be revealed. <laughs> a woman inviting Feli. Painting of a holly sprig. There's a play side underneath. Holly's room. Someone has drawn a small red crit heart on the sign with crayon. There's a bunch of color cookbooks on the shelf. What if Holly, Holly is a good cook? Maybe I could get a hint as to where she is. Need to rest any? Yep. Alright. Guess I should get going then. Okay, so I'm in another world with no way to get back. Heather has been kidnapped, and monsters called Pokemon are real. Don't freak out, Shen. Everyone will, everything will work out. What if my phone works? I bet Dad would know what to do. The number you have dialed is invalid. Please hang up and try. Uh, what's going on? That's definitely Dad's number. Ah, I should have known better than to think my phone would be able to work across worlds or whatever. Okay, don't panic. Don't freak out. I just gotta head into town and talk to this Matthias guy. Maybe he'll know how to get uh, me back home. Although, maybe I should go find Dahlia first and tell her thanks. Hmm. I'll try and find Dahlia first. Mm, 
that did nothing. Yeah, <laughs> let's get out. <laughs> Oh, do I see... I'm not sure if that's the entrance I... Oh, it's Eddie Ursa. <laughs> if only I had Pokeballs. Oh, man. Haha, <laughs> found you. Looks like you found my secret spot. Good job. I like to come here and play with the funny mushrooms and feel the warm sun. My Pokemon like it too. Oh, you have Pokemon too, Dahlia? Yeah, I'm the best Pokemon trainer in the whole force. Want to battle? If you win, I'll tell you a secret. Alright, let's go. Oh, let me hear your Pokemon up so it's a fair fight. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, you're that good then. Don't underestimate me. Let's go. And it is. I don't know what I was expecting. And it was Mega Drain. Oh, that did a lot. Damn it. Oh, it crit me. So I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, that fake tears was a well played out with the uh, with the Roselia as your second Pokemon. Even though it was not very effective, it still did a lot of damage. 